Hello, my name is Dweemer, aka Fading Interest. Today I'll present a guide to building a monster safe fortress with night activated lighting and crenellations. I based the crenellated walls off a tutorial my friend Phineas Rage made for kids. I've added redstone activated pistons and lamps to make the defensive nature of the building pop on when the sun begins to set and turn off shortly after the sun rises. I used one of my favorite blocks, the daylight sensor, to run the circuit. Here's the finished product. Here it is at night. And here it is during the day. Okay. This version does not have a door in it, but I'll show you how to add one in after the build. Now let's uh, go over to a blank canvas and build the infrastructure. Okay, to get started we need repeaters, torches, dust, sticky pistons, redstone lamps, two different building blocks. I'm using uh, green wool as scaffolding and a daylight sensor eventually. I've marked out a 21 by 21 square and I've placed a little marker for me that has offset in the center. We'll start by building the corners. This will be our internal wall. I'm going to make it too high all the way around. There's no door in this build. I'll, I'll show you how to put in a door afterwards. The modifications to put in a door in are very easy. The way this circuit works is it takes a feed from a daylight sensor in a tower, runs it down into the ground, and out to the walls. We need a couple trenches to run that circuitry. That is why I've marked out this little green square. At the top of each trench, knock out the block, place a torch, put a block over top of it. Okay, running from this each of these torches towards the nearest corner. Every other block place a repeater, alternate repeaters and building blocks. The, the repeater is a diode which means that uh, power only is transmitted one direction through it. If power is coming into the back of it, it will power the block in front of it, which means with that torch transmitting power to the block above it, transmits power to the, the repeaters, which then puts power into each of these blocks. Uh, eventually we're going to put some torches on those blocks, uh, which will turn off, and when they turn on, they will power pistons that are very close to them. So again, heading away from the power source towards the corner, alternating repeaters and blocks. Okay, that's the base layer for the power runs. Now we're going to put in some scaffolding. This will make placing the pistons much easier. Time for the pistons. Pistons go over the repeaters. Next, let's put blocks on the pistons. And we'll put redstone lamps between each block. 
And to make it all work, redstone torches. Okay, that's the basic infrastructure. Uh, I'm going to take down the scaffolding and then we'll work on powering it up. Okay, we need to build the power tower down to the center and then propagate that power out to the walls. So we need to prepare our walls to receive. This is where I'm going to use lapis to differentiate between the quartz blocks that I can destroy and uh, lapis blocks which I don't want to destroy. What I'm doing is placing a block with a redstone torch on the back side of it underneath. I'm going to run power into this block which will deactivate that torch. The block I just placed over top of that torch will also have a torch on it. Um, which will activate that torch. It basically inverts the signal all the way up the little tower that I'm going to make. And because we are lined up with this pillar, that means the blocks I'm placing in the ground will be covered. We won't see them. Now you can see on the inside, I don't want to break any of those blocks, but I do want to put a torch on the back side of it. You see that it went out? That's because there was a lit torch below it. Anytime you have a torch below another torch, one is going to try and turn off the other torch. Taking them all. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Now we can run redstone out to our center. I'm going to put a repeater here and a torch there. And the repeater is because uh, redstone only travels for 15, and even though I'm hitting torches, I like to have a nice strong signal. It also functions, as I said, as a diode, which is an excellent way to protect your circuits by making your power run in one direction. Okay, the, the redstone on top of that block is important because we're going to build a tower which will transmit power down. Uh, up is easy. Uh, down is trickier. This is how we're going to do it. Okay. So this torch is powering that redstone. That redstone is then depowering these torches. Uh, if a signal comes through, they'll turn on, it'll invert, and everything will work like magic. We're going to take this up a few. It's the same sort of pattern. And this should be high enough. You can see in the distance the example I have over there. Uh, up here somewhere, and we'll figure it out later, we'll clean it up, is going to be a daylight detector. And I like to go four from the daylight detector, because four from the daylight detector makes it uh, activate a little before the sun's fully set and turn off um, a little after the sun is up gives you a nice buffer uh, against the night. I have to go up one more level. This is why we test. Okay, daytime. Everything's collapsed, everything's off. My time. Everything's powered on, everything's pushed out. Excellent. Now we're ready for cleanup. 
Okay, first thing I'm going to do is uh, cover up my redstone as much as possible. I'm going to draw a line around the hole in the floor. And then I am going to build a little tower. Okay, so uh, as I said, you'll probably want to readjust your, your detector. Actually, the way we're going to readjust this is by placing the detector here and the torch there. Okay, beautiful. And I'm placing um, piston, I'm sorry, uh, redstone lamps in the corner. Just for additional light at the surface. Actually, that is not a needed block. And there we go. There's no door, but that's okay. I'm going to show you how to put a door in it right now. Okay, let's put a door in this thing. You need a button, a pressure plate, and a door. You're going to need some redstone repeaters to replace what you rip out. The key here is I guess some blocks to replace the facing you rip out as well. If you reverse the direction of these repeaters, then you can make a door just about anywhere you want. just need to cover it back up when you're done. There you go. Let's make sure it works at night. Yeah, and during the day. Okay, there you go. Uh, this is a monster safe building. It has a door in it now. Uh, at night, the crenellations pop out and the lights turn on. Hope you enjoyed it.